Here follows an extract from my book Artful Designs, available from Amazon. Chapter 5, Part 1 As DCI James entered the office of Superintendent Fox, he saw two more men that he didn't recognise sitting at their ease awaiting his arrival. Good morning, James. Nice to see you again, said Fox. Let me introduce you to DCI Munro from the Metropolitan Art and Antique Squad and Chief Inspector Argyle of our Cultural Heritage Division. James shook hands and exchanged the usual brief salutations. Take a seat. I've ordered some coffee, so let's get our heads together and see how we can sort this mess out. This isn't your usual area of expertise, is it, James? I'm not entirely certain what my area of expertise is, but I can assure you that this is by no means a speciality of mine. Nevertheless, it's an area that I know something about through personal interest and domestic connections. That's why I'm here at all, to be honest. You're referring to your brother-in-law, asked Fox. Yes, and also my twin sister, who is also knowledgeable in the arts generally. I was attending a presentation given by my brother-in-law that she organised. The talk featured the stolen artwork the night that the robbery took place. Also, I know the gallery staff quite well through my family connections. You could say that you're well placed and already on the ground as it were. Alternatively, it could also be construed that you're a little bit too close and personal. What do you think, Munro? said Fox. It could work either way. You know DCI James best, said Munro. Turning to James, he said... Ordinarily, this would be straight onto my desk, but my hands are full enough just now. We've had a tip-off that a turner that was stolen from a travelling exhibition at the Manchester Art Gallery years ago has finally resurfaced. It's a big piece, and the estimated value has hiked since its infamous disappearance. I've been waiting a long time for this moment, and I can't afford to let the trail go cold now. It might be my only chance. British art, especially the old masters, is suddenly in vogue and previous catalogue prices have gone through the roof since Brexit, said Argyle. Who would have thought that politics could so affect the sale of art, both above and below the counter? How was the turn is stolen? I don't remember hearing of any theft there, asked James. It was stolen years ago, but nobody knows who and really nobody even knows when the theft occurred. It had to be an inside job, said Munro. Consider how much art is quietly tucked away in storage. Galleries can only exhibit so much at any given point and rotate what artefacts they have. Some pieces don't see the light of day for years and years, although the National Art Register online has done a lot to alter this more recently. The turner must have been surreptitiously slipped out in plain sight, as it were, and nobody would have been any the wiser. Believe it or not, but I've heard of priceless treasures being casually popped into a postal tube and put through the office franking machine to get them away. The turner was only noted as missing when rumours of its sale travelled through the grapevine. Imagine their surprise when the curators went deep into their archives to find that the painting really wasn't there. We kept it as quiet as we could so that we wouldn't frighten off any potential sales. That's what Drew said when he realised that the suspicion would naturally fall on him. He said he needn't bother with pyrotechnics if he wanted to steal anything. He could just quietly stash something away and record it as still being in storage. He said that it could be months or years until a piece was missed, said James. We've just been discussing this point, said Fox. However, there's no way that this Finn character would have attempted art theft or pulled it off so successfully if somebody in the know wasn't steering him. In that case, it could be absolutely anybody, either inside or outside of the museum, said James. Exactly, which is why we're considering drafting you in. Serendipity had you waiting in the wings. Munro here has a scent of a different chase in his nostrils and, although I'm the cultural expert, I'm no sleuth. If you think you've a taste for this, then you can count on me for advice, said Argyle. You could have Baskerfield for some of the time, but this isn't really his forte and he's desperately needed on a different case entirely, said Fox. I'm led to believe that you might be able to grab a sergeant to save you some legwork. Is this correct? 
James inwardly thrilled at the thought of working with Sergeant Maddox from Moss Lee once again. I think that I can safely say that Maddox would be willing to help us out. It'd be a change from drinking tea with old ladies. He's a capable lad when given the chance. I'll need to check with Superintendent Holloway that I can be relieved of my other duties first. He may have other plans for me. Don't worry on that score, said Fox. I've cleared it with Holloway myself. It'd be polite for you to speak to him, but it's all officially sorted. Just make sure that you keep everybody that needs to know in the know. Especially make sure that you keep Munro here up to date as it's his case really. His network spreads far and wide. Certainly sir. No man is an island I know. You needn't worry on that score said James. I'm trusting you to ensure that the personal element doesn't prevent you from being objective. Everybody is under scrutiny here do you hear? Baskerfield will be keeping tabs on that under my orders, so don't make his life difficult, said Fox. That's fair enough. I'm sure that Drew will withstand scrutiny, so I won't stint, said James. Excellent. Well then, gents, let's get to it, said Fox. As James walked along the corridor, Munro caught up and walked a pace with him. Just a word of caution, Chief Inspector, if you don't mind the advice, said Munro. DCI James stopped walking to give Munro his full attention. I imagine that you're accustomed to getting your man, and I sincerely hope that you do in this case too. However, I must tell you that in my world only about 15% of stolen art is ever recovered, and even then it doesn't necessarily follow that the perpetrator is found. You have to learn to be patient and even let things be, otherwise you'd go mad. That's why I can't let the chance of getting this turner slip by. It's a rare opportunity. I've been after this piece for years and years. I'm just saying don't go all out or you'll simply die trying. Do your best, of course, but don't get stressed and give yourself a coronary. How encouraging. But I take your point, thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention... I've spoken to the team that collate the stolen arts register and they are on the lookout for the specific item now. If anyone tries to sell it through our known channels, which are many and not all above board, then you'll be the first to hear about it. Or at least the second if I get there first. Munro laughed and strode away with the thrill of the chase in his heart as he picked up the scent of the missing Turner. For the full book of Artful Designs, Available in paperback or as an ebook, follow the link in the cards in the description box or find details on my website at sharonbill.com. Thanks for listening.